Good evening, everyone. Welcome to QC News. I'm Margaret Wolf. In my top story tonight, more than 175 local and county firefighters, as well as county inmates, or county jail inmates, were called to the foothills of the mountains near the cities of Duarte and Azusa last night to battle a brush fire. Four teenager, teenagers are being held in connection with the brush fire. Witnesses said they saw the juveniles just before and after the fire started in the area of Fish Canyon, the hardest hit by the fire. By 10.30 p.m. last night, only 10% of the fire was contained. Over 100 acres were charred, but no damage was done to nearby houses and no injuries were reported. Finally, after units from the United States Forest Service and three county fire helicopters were called in, the wildfire was contained. And earlier this week, firefighters were called to a Covina warehouse where fire swept through the abandoned building, causing $200,000 in damage. Before the fire was extinguished, nearly half of the 10,000 square foot building was charred and four Cadillacs and a restored Model T stored in the warehouse were burned. The warehouse, which is owned by Kirk Rotational Inc., is located at 750 Golden Grove Ave and was used mostly as a storage facility. This was the second major building in Covina to be hit by a fire the past two weeks. The other one was the Covina's oldest building, the City Museum, where only minor damage occurred. An increase in trash collection rates will affect many Covinans beginning July 1st. The Covina Disposal Company will increase their rates from $7.33 to $7.65 per month, a 4.36% increase. The rate increase is a direct result of the 4.36% rate rise in the consumer price index of greater Los Angeles metropolitan area. Once the issue was sent to the Covina City Council Mayor Robert Lowe and Councilman Chris Lancaster, uh, Gary Coffey and Henry Morgan voted in favor of the rate hike while Thomas O'Leary opposed it stating he had received complaints from several people who maintained that the trash disposal company had already been given too many rate increases. Now finally tonight, two Charter Oak High School sophomores will receive Boy Scouts' highest honor next week. Ken Harris and Mike Ling, both 16, will receive the Eagle rank in a double award ceremony on June 18th. Both young men earn more than 28 merit badges in areas of leadership, character, and physical fitness. Harris and Ling renovated playground equipment and picnic area at the Wingate Park in Covina for their Eagle Scout project. Thanks for that, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me tonight. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and Marty and Dave and our guests will return after these messages.